from playing in the big game to writing for a big show. KCRA 3's Lisa Gonzalez introduces us to a man who made that transition from the NFL to Hollywood. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is getting a fresh reboot as a drama. I am Jeffrey, your uncle's butler. Will Smith starred in the iconic 90s sitcom and he's behind the new one as an executive producer for the Peacock series called Bel-Air. Jeffrey Thompson, house manager. Will! I'll be there. One of the writers of this new series is Sacramento's own Ephraim Salam. He co-wrote episode five. I named it PA to LA. This former NFL player and Super Bowl standout now spends his days in a writing room. My current profession and my love is, is being a writer, a television writer. You can make a good living and it's inside, it's air conditioned, and you don't have to hit your head against another person. So that, that works for me. Now 45 years old, Ephraim was honored to help remake a show that meant so much to him. It just resonated because it's a fish out of water story and I, I kind of felt like that going into the seventh grade in Sacramento. Ephraim moved to Sacramento from Inglewood. He was so smart, he skipped two grades. And he was a star athlete at Florin High School on the football, basketball, and track teams. And I was pretty good at all <laughs> three of them. My favorite class of all of high school was drama. And my favorite teacher was uh, Mrs. Lynn Tracy. At just 16 years old, he went to San Diego State playing football and basketball before entering the NFL draft. In my rookie year, I end up uh, starting in the Super Bowl. I started all 19 games, including the Super Bowl. I was the fourth rookie in NFL history to ever do that. And I was the youngest player to ever start in the Super Bowl at the time. And I'm supposed to deliver this to Florin High School, because look what it says on the other side. Florin High School, Sacramento, Ephraim Salam, part of Super Bowl history, Super Bowl 33. So this will be delivered to Florin High School. They already have my jerseys and stuff hung up in the rafters because, you know, I was kind of a big deal out there. His sense of humor and creativity have taken him far as a TV broadcaster, movie producer, and writer, which he only started because his wife gave him screenwriting classes as a birthday gift. He was instantly hooked. I was just enthralled. I fell in love with it, and it, it was just a... It reminded me of like a locker room, right? You're in there and everybody's yeah. working at the same goal and everybody has their strengths and, and you build off of each other's strengths and, and cover up the weaknesses. And that's what I felt the first time I was ever in a writing room. His advice for big dreamers? We, I had big dreams. I wanted to be a professional athlete. I did that. I wanted to get into film and television. I did that. So just keep dreaming because it's possible. Welcome to Bel Air. And Ephraim is living proof. His latest project, the new show, Bel Air, premieres on Peacock February 13th. Lisa Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News. That's exciting. It, it, it doesn't seem like it, but we've got a whole generation that has never experienced the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. You know, that's so, true. You know, it's, I didn't think about it, that. It's a whole reboot for them. And yeah. just breathing fresh life into it. And there his story is fantastic. That's great.